So now we're at the Richmond location for the street eats because lo and behold, this person drove to me to the middle of seemingly nowhere in Richmond Hill for his car dealership. And just across the mall on the other side of the street is the street festival. Wow! And by chance, I have my gimbal. So of course, I'm going to take this opportunity. You know, take videos. And it's very tame. It's this one. It's because of probably the timing of what time it is now too, right? People aren't off work yet. Oh yeah, people aren't work yet. But like, I'm surprised. Like, there's music and it's right next to like a mall and plaza. And yet this place is kind of pretty empty. Yeah. We have, let's do, let's do a promotion. So we have Funnel Cake Dream. Ooh. Follow them. Yeah, you can be dreaming about funnel cakes. Ooh, vibes of Taran. So this is Iranian food, right? Taran. Let's look at the menu. Oh, I bought my gimbal on the perfect day. And the weather is so nice. Oh my gosh. And if you wanted to walk around, so what better to walk around a beautiful food festival, right? So... Yes, because I love food. I love food so much. So we have the vegetarian cuckoo yeah. uh, sandwich. There's a saffron chicken sandwich. There's a kebab burger. There's a pandari. Oh, nice. I think people are just getting set up. We actually came at a good time. People oh, are just setting up now, right? Some people are getting set up. Yeah. What time is it? Better mustache. Hello. Oh, if you want a good mustache, you should oh, come wow. here. It's, yeah, it's good. 14. Wow. Oh, okay. Three, three, Ooh, I want to put it until I can make a fresh one for you. Oh, okay. okay. There's a dog poutine, yeah. inferno <laughs> poutine, veggie, oh, Greek poutine, Tex Mex. Uh -huh. And then Maybe we have the work. Okay, I love oh, poutine. That's the best poutine in the whole wide world. Okay. okay. Uh, it's just like, like a video. Oh, just a video? Yeah. Oh, but yeah. no, I like poutine. Yeah. I do like poutine. We love poutine. Oh, yeah, yeah. awesome. Okay. okay. Which one you like? Uh, I like Greek. So I like oh, I want the Greek one too. Yeah. So I make it Greek for you guys. Yes, please. Okay, sure. So the Greek, the Greek one is... Um, it's shareable. Is we only need one. No, we, we only need the one. Yeah, we only need one. Yeah, okay. tzatziki, feta, black olive, and green onion. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, I do like poutine. I'm gonna make a deal with you. If you like us. Yes. If we can tag us, yeah. we can charge you. Oh, yeah, we'll tag you. Yeah. On Instagram or which one? On Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, sure. Okay. It's on us. Yeah. Oh, yes, of course. What, okay. What's your hashtag then? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. We can hashtag you. <laughs> yeah. The, so you should totally support them. That's their information. Massageburger.com. Yeah. Is this the first thing, or is it? How long have you been here? It's, We've been it's, here for. This guy's been here for a long time. But he's been here for a week. A week. But it's gonna be gonna be here every day. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. It's a nice day. Weather, weather, weather. The weather's so the nice. The weather is nice today. It's yes. Very nice. Maybe, but it's nice. Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be it's supposed to be raining, changing their mind. It's gonna be nice. Thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. Well, last minute is changing their mind. So. Yeah. So, so Greek has a tzatziki on it. Are you okay with it? I love tzatziki. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and he loves olives. Yeah, I love black olives. I love yeah. Black olives. Oh my god, this is perfect because the place I got from Mikonos. That's Greek as well. Yes, it fits the theme. It fits the Greek theme of today, the Mediterranean Greek theme. Mediterranean slash Greek. Yeah, Mediterranean slash Greek. Okay, so the other places, while well, they're making this, I'm going to do a small walk. It's um, there's a uh, Mediterranean barbecue, which is the smoke stop, and this is their menu. Okay, so you can follow them on the social media following. They have ribs sandwiches and poutine so that's cool let's give you a better shot cool oh they're done okay uh, I, hold on let me yeah, just, let's hold it oh, that's fine. Oh, just put it there yeah. we would love to help promote can you type it on the yay i love comfort food so this, this is gonna be great thank you yes yes
Mash. You're welcome, and vice versa. Mash, mash. That's their hashtag. That's, that's what they are. Mustache burger. Right? Yeah. Mash tag, okay, mustache well, burger. Well, yeah, we'll hashtag that on Instagram. Mustache. Okay. Mustache. I won't thank get. You guys. Thank you. So thank much. you. You're welcome. Thank you. you too. Yeah. Bye. So we will unravel this at home. We will just hold it for now. Yeah, we're just gonna wrap it up. Thank you. See, we are blessed. See, oh. we got free food. Oh my god. Oh, we got food. Okay. And I'm glad it's closing the freaking gimbal out. Because I actually noticed the only reason I had it is because I know we had a gimbal for you in the car. I saw it. So, yes, it's good that you're bringing it with you. Thank you. You're like a lucky charm. I'm happier now. Yeah. Okay, so now we have Tor Toro. And then this place has really cool Brazilian food. Okay, a lot of these places have um, There's like, poutine. Kind of like, it's kind of like Mediterranean and Brazilian. Like, kind of like Latin. So it's kind of like a few different things, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, this place is more Latin based. Okay, this, this like, location. So, yeah. like, Scarborough is more Asian. Okay, this so the Brazilian more Latin based. La Mediterranean, Latin. Yeah. Okay, there this is one? There's Korean down there too. Oh, there's Korean, okay. Yeah. So this, this place is called El Bosco. Oh, cool. And then maybe someone has a pet because I see a dog bowl of water. And this is their menu. So, oh, they do tacos. Okay, it's three for 17. It's gluten free. These are all the options. Authentic Latin food. That's cool. Mm, this is food. This is food from the G's. Now we have swarmas. That's cool. Oh, if you like biryani, these are the prices. Oh, it's beginning to be a bit windy. But these are some great prices. Okay. Is it windy? Let's keep going. Oh, this is the mouth switch. Okay, so they are oh, certified grilled cheeses. Very grilled nice. cheeses. Okay. Gourmet grilled cheese. Gourmet grilled cheese. Ooh, Ooh, okay. I'm so up for that if I had capacity, but not really. Yeah, okay. So so they're doing burgers, there's cheese steak, poutine, cheese sandwiches. So if you really like poutine, this festival seems to have definitely have you cover with poutine. And then they also have the spicy Nashville chicken poutine. Okay, but my favorite one is still has to be the one we we're holding already. So I'm glad that we were going to choose that one regardless of all the choices it seems. Um, then we have the novella. It seems like to be the most popular. So it's more Latin food. This one is very yeah, Mediterranean, Latin. Mediterranean Latin food. Latin yeah. Okay. okay. So I really seem to like the Pad Thai fish taco. That says Colvin Panda everywhere. And usually the lion will go for the Pad Thai. He likes Pad Thai as well. And then we could go for the battered fish or the black bean plantain. Okay, the one that this place is so popular. It's on the truck, is very nice. And then we have the spice rack. And look, it's the CN Tower. Mm. So it's a like neighborhood on the truck. Cool, cool. And then I see flowers. That's nice. It's nice to have flowers and CN Tower on the truck. So here you have more ta tackles, I believe. Oh, okay. So they have like Korean fried chicken instead of the Kentucky fried chicken, they have Korean fried chicken. Okay, so there's real fruit, food made from scratch. And then you can also get poutine here. Okay, so cool. Mm. They do caterings. Nice. Mm -hmm. mm. And if you're born to eat, then you should come to this one. Yes, yeah, so this. Most of the food here is taco or poutine. Ooh. Living the Thai dream. I, okay, this has a lot of Thai food fusion. Tacos, right? Taco and Thai food, yeah. There's a lot of Pad Thai. Yeah, Don't Pad Thai's, Thai food, taco, Mexican, like yeah. Latin. The other place I feel like it has poutine. a lot of like... Um, a bit more Fili Asian. Filipino. Filipino, yeah. Yes. There's Tanino and then the Hungry Moon, which is the two that I went to support because, I, as I said in my last video, I love Filipino food. This one is more Latin, um, Mediterranean slash Thai, which is cool. And we already got this, so I, that looks amazing. So everyone should totally go to Mustache Burger. That is by far my favorite one so far. 
Oh, this is Korean street food and food is life. I totally agree. Food is life. It's golden. Eat well, live, live well, be well. Mm -hmm. So we should. You can, some people could get the happy platter and be happier. Okay, and then this is their menu. So this is called a golden grill food truck. This is their menu. Ooh, this place has dumplings, kimchi fries, and chicken cutlets and other bows. Okay, this one is the same. They have this location in the in the Scarborough location as well. Oh, it's kind of windy. But they have this one in the Scarborough location as well. It's uh, Brothers. Mm -hmm. They make jerk food. Jerk chicken. Yeah, jerk chicken. So I like how this one has very easily viewable menus, like the whole festival. So this is their menu. That's cool. Yes. Oh, this is the gourmet hot dog. Look at that. This food truck is so cute. Oh, what a cute food truck. I've seen this uh, food truck, I think, at the Toronto Premium Mall before. It's so cute. Look at, oh my gosh, this is so adorable. Na so this is apparently from Niagara, Niagara Falls. It's a Niagara gourmet hot dog. That's really cool. So, okay, if you, if, if you know, if halal food is important to you, come here you, you see the big halal symbol right there and you know there's meat lovers beverly hills fancy pants that sounds like what i can do but you know it has me so so this place is like a hot dog stand that's nice and so adorable this is okay this was also at the scarborough location cheesecake on a stick Ooh, okay because it's not too crowded in this location, we, er, people can c come here more. And look at the menu. So they have Canadian this is, maple. Ooh, this is a they have coconut medicine. cream, oh, a cherry crumble, Ferrero Rocher, Reese looks, Prince pieces. Really cool. Leo, <laughs> no offense, I'm sorry, but you pick the same thing no matter you go. <laughs> oh, so nice! Everywhere. The, the, no, it's either this one or this one. Exactly! Uh, Ooh ah, ooh ah! <laughs> and then um, there's birthday cake, caramel, milk chocolate, dipped, white chocolate dipped, Oreo s'mores. I think you were like Carol like pecan, red velvet, and strawberry Nutella. Yes, that is the one I like. Yeah. Because it's the most colorful. Yeah. But I also I I usually I don't really pick flavor. I usually pick by color and aesthetic. Like yeah, so anything that's Canadian and aesthetically pleasing or colorful is usually what I pick for. Yeah, if I wanted something different, I think I'd be more about Yeah. Something different. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you want dessert for today? Yes. Okay. Uh, I already contribute so much. Oh, okay. Let's see if you are going to be... Okay, everyone, <laughs> let's put a question mark and see if he is going to do two, one of each. Or is he going to pick me, or is he going to pick himself? So he has three options. What, what is what is this person going to do? Oh, thank you. That is the best choice. It's cheaper than buying two. And yeah, did you just see what he did? He prioritized me. Oh my god, I love it. Because I already pitched in for like, you know, d dinner and everything. So he should pitch in too. Right? We should all pitch in like yeah. something. Contribution. So you should co go support cheese stick in the six. So just remember that the da is with an A and then the six is spelled with the number six itself. Yeah. All right. And they have uh, a, a lot of different forms of payment. they make it. It was really cool. Yeah. Let's help them put up this bottle up. Ta-da! And then now I'll, I'll use it because I just touched it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, there is. Oh, there is like hand sanitizer. Yes! Get your hand sanitized, everyone. So here we have the Aripa Republic. So it's more fresh and grilled handcrafted sandwiches for meals. 
then we have the T dots nonsense. Okay, if you don't come here, that's nonsense. You should all come here. Yes, hello, hello, hi. hi. Mm -hmm. Go support them. Ooh, this is the Buster Sea Cove. I think they, there's this location at the Scarborough location as well. Mm -hmm, I think so. Let's look at their menu. Oh, look at this one. <gasps> what? Whoa, they have fish fries and lobster. That has my name on it. And then, ooh, they also have tacos. Okay. So this is their food truck fair. Oh, what, which one looks more interesting to you? Lobster roll or grilled cheese, halibut and chips or shrimp and chips. But I already have so much food for today. I would seriously go for all four of these. The prices is reasonable and I love seafood. I love seafood. Oh my god. But the grilled cheese. Oh! Nice. If I had capacity, I would love those too. I just don't have the stomach. I don't have the I don't have capacity. Okay, but we we won't break this down. We need to come back. Yeah. This yeah. Oh, the best part is right here. This place has fresh, sustainable, straight from the market to you food. So you, you should all support Buster Sea Club. Anyways, I love going to food festivals. It's, so our cheesecake on a stick should be ready food for today. Yay! We came just in time. Thank you. We will enjoy. Yeah, that's good enough. We're good. And he visited every. We've already pretty much visited. Every place. Yeah, we visited everything. So, there the, the three locations that stood out is the one that we we commented on. Yeah. We love uh, Mustache Burger, and they were very hospitable. So I, I'm totally going to support them more. And then I'm just going to give you another snapshot. So this one is a smaller one than the Scarborough one, but it's also like quieter. So if you live nearby then this is a great place to go to with your family because it's very socially distanced and it's very safe yeah yeah it's pretty safe and yeah look at that oh my gosh everyone look at the sky when we went to the scarborough location every day has been quite rainy when but we went this to... is the opposite this, this is, like is the opposite gorgeous. look at this this is gorgeous can i just yeah. let everyone look at the sky for Today like like 15 16 degrees it's actually very nice outside. like look at that this is so Beautiful everyone. I hope you have a really wonderful weekend. We have more in store for everyone. Wow, look at this beautiful sky. I love looking at the sky when it's this blue. Wow. Okay, that's it. We are going to leave the food festival. All right. mm -hmm. So we were only here for like 20 minutes or less. That's exciting. We started we started this video the moment we came in yeah. and we only spent like 20 minutes here. Wow, that's amazing. So we got um, the maple, the cheesecake, maple cheesecake on, on, on a stick. stick, and the Greek uh, poutine. Yeah, the Greek poutine. Oh my gosh, everyone, support them. Local local businesses really need your support. Okay, yeah. that's why we're doing um, videos with this. And you can see, even though this is an open market, right? Everyone should be wearing masks because there are people. There are some, you know, it's not crowded, but there are some people. So whenever there are some people, relatively coming at you any any time it's of course safest to wear a mask um so i have two masks right now i have the military mask the, the green camel and you can see possibly i'm always wearing green camel. Yep. it's better to be safe than sorry thank you for joining us